A Minnesota mother of two who vanished in March has been found dead, and the father of her children is the prime suspect. But one question remains tonight. What actually happened to Maddie Kingsbury? Maddie's disappearance gripping the state for the last couple of months, setting off searches across multiple counties and months of tireless investigations. Finally, after 69 days, Maddie's body was found not far from the family home of her ex-boyfriend. The last 69 days have been frustrating, full of heartache and pain for the family, law enforcement, and the community. But during this time, the family never gave up. Hours after her body was found, the ex-boyfriend, who is also, who's also the father of Maddie's two children, was arrested. Tonight, Adam Frabel is in jail for second-degree murder. So how did we get here? Let's take a look at the major moments of this case, from Maddie's disappearance to today. This all began on March 31st, the day Maddie disappeared. She was last seen dropping off her children at Winona Daycare with Frabel. He told police he then left to run errands and that Maddie was gone when he returned. Several days later, the BCA called Maddie's disappearance involuntary and suspicious, setting off a slew of community searches. Now fast forward a month, there was still no sign of Maddie. A giant vigil was held in her hometown of Winona. Another month later, and Adam Frabel is in court fighting for custody of their two children. And then yesterday, June 7th, the body found and Adam Frabel is arrested, all of it in a span of 69 days from when Maddie first disappeared. So after several months, how did investigators finally crack this case? Rose Schmidt went down to Winona where law enforcement and the community stopped at nothing to find her. More than 450 tips came in since Maddie Kingsbury disappeared in March. Investigators say ultimately it was a tip related to electronic evidence, either phone or computer data, that led them to find her body. Madeline Kingsbury's favorite color still covers her hometown, a sign of this community's exhaustive search efforts over the last 69 days. While this discovery is not what we were hoping for, we are thankful to be able to bring Maddie home to her family. Her closest friends were at Winona City Hall as police and the Fillmore County Sheriff's Office confirmed the remains they found Wednesday afternoon were Maddie's. She's home, but not the way we wanted. Maddie's family members sent Thursday in a statement that they look forward to getting justice for her. Her sister, who's been a vocal advocate since she went missing, telling social media she's glad Adam Fravel has been arrested. We're confident that um, he will get the punishment that he deserves. Investigators say digital evidence brought them to an area off Highway 43 north of Mabel that had previously been searched, and they found the body in a wooded area off a public gravel road. There were efforts made to conceal the location of the body, and it was not visible from the roadway. The sheriff noted that Maddie's remains were not found on land owned by Fravel's family, but they do own property a few minutes away. Investigators would not say whether the body had been moved or if there were any alleged accomplices. We have said that we will hold anyone involved in Madeline's disappearance accountable, and we are here to tell you that we will hold steadfast on that commitment. For now, Maddie's loved ones are thanking the community for its endless support and asking that it continues. Keep your lights on, support us through the trial. It's gonna be a rough one. We're still waiting to hear a cause of death in this case, as well as when to expect a charge or charges against Adam Frabel. In the meantime, a benefit is planned for Saturday to support the needs of Maddie's children. In Winona, Roche Schmidt, Fox 9.